Hey everybody, Tim Corpus, composer and sound designer here. Uh, it's pretty late on Thursday night, but I saw a couple questions on the forums about the bridge, what it does. So we're gonna take a gander at uh, just looking at sending signals, any signal, but we're gonna take a look at protocol because I think we've talked about that before, but we haven't really shown it. So let's take a look at protocol. So this is Protocol here on Hexler.net. And if you go to their website, you can just click to find Protocol. I'll also include that link in the description. But you can download that here just like you could download the bridge. And this is a way for us to see signals that we're sending from any MIDI device or to check to make sure we are sending OSC signals as well. So go ahead and download this and install it on your desktop. And then we'll go ahead and see how it works. All right, so I assume that you've downloaded it, you've installed it, you're all ready to go. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is head to the bottom left corner, hit your start menu if you're on Windows, and then you're gonna activate that bridge. If you can't find this, of course, you could just search for the bridge. There it is, Touch OSC Bridge. Click that and we have turned it on. And now let's open protocol. Same method, let's hit the start menu, search for protocol, there it is, and we'll activate that. So hopefully you have all of the devices on your computer plugged into your computer, set up, you've turned it all on in the right you know, process, the right order of how you have to turn things on for your system, and uh, all the correct drivers are installed. So should that be the case, and you have the app updated, you have the app having uh, you know, the link uh, for MIDI and OSC signals set up in Touch OSC, you should be able to send stuff to your computer and receive those signals. And we will see those signals in this, uh, this program called Protocol. So this is Protocol, and you can see we have it showing some of the things that are already connected. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, and then, uh, you know, this is just some general preferences, but here in, under MIDI, you can see all the different inputs we have. Then OSC, you can see um, you know, what events you want to receive. But what we're going to start with is my Casio Privia keyboard here. Let's send some notes from the keyboard to protocol. And I'll go ahead and play a C note on my uh, keyboard here. It's middle C. And you can see Casio USB MIDI. That's right, because it's connected that way. And channel 1, and this is the information that was sent. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. You can see all that data. And sometimes you can see the velocity, right? Because this is picking up the velocity off this keyboard. So if I really mash this chord here, you, know, you can see that's a little higher. And uh, when it releases, it's lower. But now I'll press that chord really quietly. And you can see it's getting less, uh, a lower number, it's less uh, velocity. Great, so we can see the Casio keyboard coming through, and those are the signals. Let's take a look at the app now, Touch OSC. I'm going to clear protocol here, and I'm using the same setup from the last video uh, about Reaper and connecting OSC messages. So let's go ahead and hit that previous button that existed before. Let's look at this OSC panel. And you can see it is sending that track minus or that track plus. Now, if you're not exactly sure about what I'm talking about, uh, check out the video, I believe it was six, that talks all about setting up OSC messages and sending them from the app to Reaper. And let's try that uh, teal button we had. And that was the action. So again, we can see what the OSC message is. Now, here's a trick. I changed the pink button and I added a MIDI message, so let's see how that works. I hit that pink button, and if you saw here on the top tabs, they both lit up. And it showed the action here, and if I look on the MIDI panel, it shows you what I was sending, which was channel two, CC one. 
this is a great simple way to just check that everything is sending signals and that everything is coming in the way that you expect it to. Let's take a look at one more MIDI device that I use. So this is my Icon QCon G2 mixer. It is a digital mixer. There are no real inputs to it. It's all getting uh, information from the computer. But let's go ahead and move a fader and see what happens. And you can see there on the MIDI signals in protocol, everything that's coming in. And that's nothing I programmed. This is using um, Mackie, uh, HUI protocol. And you can see things are already set up. It's being sent to protocol. So a ton of different messages are being sent. So protocol is a terrific way to check to see if the signals that you think you're sending from any of your MIDI devices, mixers, instruments, touch OSC app are correct. And, um, you know, you could add more. I have this uh, LPD8, you know, classic little uh, MIDI trigger device that I use all the time. I actually used to use this before touch OSC to do things like record, stop, play, you know, undo, uh, use these as kind of the faders or for expression in a VST. Of course, now I have this sexy mixer so I can do a lot of those things on there. And then of course, touch OSC. But uh, hopefully you see how you can use protocol and this is an important way just to check to make sure if everything is working. Now, there's one other way you can check these signals. Let's go ahead and open the editor. So we have a fresh version of the editor here. And let's say you're working on, let's make a button here. And let's just give this a really simple one, one message, MIDI message. All right. But up here, if we go to view, toggle log, we can see this log here, which will show us the same thing as protocol. So let's press play in the editor and push the button. And here in the editor, you can see whatever signal you were sending. Let's close out of this and let's turn this into an OSC message. Let's go ahead and call this track name. And we are sending this OSC message. So let's try it. Hit play, hit our button, and we can see that MIDI message is still coming through. But we also saw that uh, track name message from OSC. Now you're not going to be able to see the messages sent from your MIDI keyboard or mixer, uh, but this is just a way to test your template. So if you're building your template on your desktop, you can test it that way in the editor log. So there's a lot more information that you could look at in the uh, manual for the protocol or the bridge on hexler.net. So be sure to check that out. Uh, talk to people on the forums and the Discord or the Facebook group. I know a lot of people were having issues uh, where they're pushing a button, but they don't see if anything's happening. This is another way to check if it's even getting to your system. So hopefully this helps your template and troubleshooting your template, uh, you know, Ask me some questions in the comments. If you have some trouble, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have lots more to look at in Touch OSC. And uh, thanks for watching.